Ladies and gentlemen, it's that special time of the day. It's the best time of the day. You now locked and loaded with your main man, my dig, and my dog, Troy King. Pipe down and turn this up, man. Yeah. Third eye open. Focus. Yeah. Roll up my tree, just smoking. Everything potent. Potent. Say what I want, no glucose, no sugar coating. Nah. I break it down. I do my history. Plus I'm the truth and I'm super sharp mentally. Boy, I'm a god, you're not seeing me physically. Plus I stop you. I'm talking about literally me and my shorty. So don't see the chemistry. chemistry. Work for what we got. Hustle hard a lot. Y'all can never take this energy. Nah. Writing on the wall. Plus I'm still a dog. Half of it I don't let you see. Rock a koofy with the shades on, dog. Nobody coming after me. It might be an actual casualty. Listen, when Zoo and Fandora fight, it's going to be some good work. Technically, the work is going to be very different from Keith Thurman and Zoo because Keith Thurman is a shorter fighter and Zoo is the taller guy. Even though on BoxRec, they got Zoo listed as five, eight and a half. Fandora is like six, four, six, five, something like that. That's going to be some decent work for Zoo. You know what I'm saying? Depending on if Fundora can take a shot, because I was saying earlier on the live, if Brian Mendoza, Brian Mendoza, I don't even know if that's his real cousin's real name, but if Mendoza can't take a shot, if Mendoza's not a, a legit puncher, like a known elite puncher, and, from, and he knocked out, could be even though punches you don't see will knock you out, but you got to have some type of strength. Zoo is not a knockout puncher either. He has a lot of TKOs, but it's really up to the chin of Fundora. If, if, if that's, it depends on how his punch resistance is, you know, cause you, if you got a chin, you and Brian Mendoza is not a known puncher, then no, you should not be going to sleep. But Zoo is still, he got too many TKOs on his record. It's, it's the pressure and the attrition, and he got solid puncher. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's all. He a solid puncher on top of those things with the pressure, and that's why people get technically knocked out by him. You know, they get tired, they get hurt, and then he breaks them down, the ref stops it. He's not hitting that chin, and then they going to sleep. That's That's not a thing. Now, whether that happened to Mendoza, I mean Mendoza uh, putting that on Fundora, that's different because he didn't see it. And he was a taller man. Overhand shot gets you every time, make you wake up, take out the trash. <laughs> and that's on you, blood. So uh, keep your hands up, Fundora. Move your head. Use your jab, the long range. If you really was smart, you would use the long range jab for six whole rounds before you go on the inside with Zoo. Six whole rounds, jabbing to the body, jabbing to the chest, right over the heart, and then get up in the inside and work him to death because then you take some of the gas and steam. It's an uphill battle for Zoo unless Fundora just going to do what he always does and comes on the inside and give up his height. But Zoo... He has to work behind a strong jab, use the defense, stay inside. When he get inside, stay inside the whole fight, throw the overhand shots, dig to the guts. It's very simple. This is some old school boxing mentality. He said that on his Twitter. So we're we going to see. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow. This video will probably be up when y'all get up so y'all can see it in the morning. But this was just a light little study on the things that, are going to happen in a fight of this magnitude. This is like an old school fight because you got a short fighter against a tall fighter and Zoo likes to come forward. So it's like nothing. He was going to do the same thing regardless. He's going to be coming forward, but he's going to have to, well, you know, it just depends because Fundora likes to be all up close and which is just not fundamentally sound. And that's what I'll be saying about people's fundamentals. As a tall fighter, those things should be a last resort. You got to get past the stick. If you can't get past the stick in the straight right hand, you try to come in low, I'm running the uppy. It's that simple with Fundora. If he was if he was really trained, say I was training Fundora, which I am right now in Netherhut, 
Every time for, I be having him use the stick, bang, stick it to the chest, bang, and he left-handed. He would never get in, actually. Fundora's left-handed. I'll be pawing a jab. Soon as he come in, I hit him with the Dre Ward. If he try to sneak up, if he try to throw over the top, I use this to block it. If he try to come underneath, I'll jab him back and make him reset. If he try to come in low, I'll run the uppy up under. If he comes straight down the pipe, I'm shooting the right hand. It's that simple. And that's when that's a game plan. And that's all it takes. Zoo, he needs to be catching jabs, slip, minimal slips. But if Fandora's going to come to him, then all he got to do is dig to the guts and work his way upstairs. If he go upstairs with the overhand, bang, he need to come up under. Boom. And then bring the straight, go down to the body, cup up under the middle. That's a good combination of throwing a taller man. You don't want to just keep wailing. You want to switch up the shots with the same hand due to like a Mike Tyson and come out, slip over, run up, up the middle. Did the body going to be right in front of you? You just keep digging on the gut. And then any shot you stay in close, you just run up the middle and then you throw over the top. Bang, bang, roll up under and just be digging to the body. He will give it up. I'm telling you. It's really that simple, but we'll talk about it tomorrow. I don't want to give too much up right now because I'm going to watch uh, Fundora and then I'm going to really sit down and watch Tim Zoo and we're going to break they, we gonna break down what they do good, what they do, and blah, 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 because we really need to talk about it. One yourself.